So this is the flower section, and basically it's like the first section that you see when you come into the museum, and I'm just moving around in the video. And as you can see, you can see like this beautiful, surreal scene in front of you. You can see birds flying, you can see all these flowers falling, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And of course, these are all holograms. None of this is real, and it just—it just makes me lose my mind sometimes. Like, look at it; it's gorgeous. And it, uh, as you can see, it is just holograms on the walls. It is just so realistic. It's like, look at those! Look at those butterflies. It looks like you can catch them. And just the wonders of technology. Like, keep keep looking at these all these flowers. All these flowers falling, and like it just deceives my eyes so hard. And of course, this isn't actually my favorite exhibition. My favorite exhibition comes after this, but like seriously, this is really good exhibition. And like this entire museum actually really reminds me of a book called Divergent, and the Divergent trilogy. Basically, it's a book. It's a book where it's like a surreal science fiction reality where. People are divided into four groups to live in packs and stuff. And basically, there's this one girl who's divergent who can technically be in every single one of those packs. And there's like this huge hologram virtual reality test. And that was like that was the sort of thing, sort of vibe that I was getting from this exhibition. And that's why I was really reminded of the book. And now I'll tour you through the rest of the exhibition. However, before that, you can enjoy the rest of the exhibition without my annoying narration. And right here is my favorite exhibit in the entire exhibition. This is the waterfall section, and as you can see, honestly, if you're in this room, of course you can't get the full effect from the video, you have to actually visit it in order to know, but it actually feels like the marbles or the water, the gold, the gold or whatever that is, is pushing you back, and you feel this nausea, and I guess it's just like my mind playing tricks on me, but it is by far my favorite exhibition, and I think it's really, really cool. This is the Aura exhibit. This is the exhibit that comes right after the waterfall one. Now this is also really really cool. You can hear the waves crashing against the beach and the beautiful surreal aura in the sky looking absolutely gorgeous. And this just filled me with a sense of wonder like never before like Christmas Eve. And it is just such a great exhibit. And next we move on to the next section. The next section is actually called the waves section, and the thing is, this one is actually pretty similar to the aura section, except there's no aura, the, there's just waves, and honestly, I think it looks really, really cool, although I gotta say, the aura, I believe, looks a bit cooler than this one, however, I can feel the danger, and it just looks so cool. Now, well, let's move on to the next section. <laughs> Now this section was by far one of the most interesting sections in this entire museum. You see, in this section, you could draw, or you could color in these nice little animals as seen in the desk right here, and then uh, if you scan it, they appear on the screen, and it was just so cool. And honestly, like this was just one of the coolest and one of my favorite things, it's probably my second favorite right after the waterfall one, and this is probably the most interesting one from all of the things, or the cool holograms that was in the museum. And look at it, it's just so, <laughs> it just looks so wonderful. And by the way, that, that one with the gray face, yeah, that's me. So anyways, 
this is a really cool one, and let's move on to the next section after looking through these for a little bit more. Also, actually, something similar in the next section, where there was simply a lion or a giraffe or some sort of animal that came up to you, and so just stood there for a bit and just walked out. And I guess this is like the less sophisticated version of the previous section. So, being tired after going through the entire exhibit, me and my family went to drink some tea. However, we immediately realized that the tea itself was not normal. When we put the teacups on the table, flowers just grew out of them, and if you moved them, well, they would, the flowers would start growing around them again, like a laurel wreath. And it was just so cool, like, every aspect of this place is using the technology that, well, that is powering up the entire place with the holograms and everything. So I just think that it's so, so cool that this technology works like this and I mean look at it it's so cool so that is the tea section and my friends this is the last section of the art museum this is the renaissance section and famous renaissance paintings they move around and they are alive and Honestly, honestly, for me, this was like the most boring exhibition because I liked the ones where flowers moved and all that kind of stuff. But I think this is also really, really cool. And this was the last section of the museum. And with that, I think that concludes this video. Like always, your book cluster and the book cluster, the art and museum was such a great place and it was super inspirational and I also took an extremely long time to edit this video and this is months after I actually went. And anyways, have a great day, subscribe, and goodbye.